So a huge amount of ocean plastic is missing, but where could it all be going? And would you believe me if I told you it might be getting eaten by bacteria? Hear me out. So some research found that seven to 22% of the plastic that's been released could have actually been photodegraded by sunlight. There's also likely a lot moving through the water columns, weighed down by organisms growing on it or eating it and accumulating on the sea floor. Other research has calculated that at least for the first five years after entering the ocean, around 77% of floating plastic stays within 10 kilometers of the coastline or is beached. But now new research has found that at least a little bit of the ocean's plastic might be getting eaten by bacteria. Researchers found that the bacteria, called Rhodococcus ruber, was found in a lab environment to digest plastic and break it down into carbon dioxide and other byproducts, and actually use the carbon in its own processes. One of the biggest questions for, for me is, okay, what, what is the other stuff that this microbe produces? What other kind of molecule, dissolved molecules are there? Researchers have calculated that the bacteria could digest up to 1% of the plastic in the ocean, but whether that'll work in the wild will still need to be studied. It's positive to know that, that nature is very resilient and that they find a way to deal with, with plastic, with harmful stuff that we throw in the environment. So now the degradation rates are that we know from microbes are way slower than the rate at which we are littering plastic into the ocean. But if there's ever a moment that we stop generating waste and stop uh, plastic waste from entering the ocean, the environment might restore itself. It might clean itself up.